What's up YouTube Fragrance family? Tommy with Studio Sins here. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today to check out today's video. I don't know what to tell you. I just pay rent to keep the lights on around here. I'm going from bar to nightclub, pub crawling, and all I hear guys talk about are elixirs. And so, obviously, we got to give them what they're asking for. Whether that's actually the case or not, I don't know. There's something going on out there where elixir is kind of the new buzzword when it comes to men's cologne. To prove that point, today we're actually looking at a brand new release. Actually, it's been out for about four months, but I finally got my hands on it. So when we return, we're going to talk shop about Ralph's Club Elixir. I'm going to give you guys my first impressions on this new release. That and plenty more coming up, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. So today we're looking at a relatively new release. It's called Ralph's Club Elixir. It has been out for about four months, I think. Uh, it came out around somewhere around July or August of this year. Just want to tell you, hands down, it is the best of the line. That is the fragrance that we're here to talk about. To jumpstart the dialogue and our discussion of Ralph's Club Elixir, let's take a quick look at that presentation. The box is dark brown. The front of the box has a tactile pattern that's like an embossed paint on the front of it. There's a silver nameplate with the Ralph's Club logo and it says Ralph's Club, Ralph Lauren, and then below that elixir is in silver. It is 2.5 fluid ounces or 75 ml bottle. The right side of the bottle has instructions on refilling the bottle, so it is a refillable bottle. That's conscientious of Ralph Lauren. Most designers are going in that direction to be more sustainable. On the back of the box is a bunch of text. It's kind of hard to read actually, but it is basically the ingredients listing and address information as well as some additional information and a UPC. The same thing on the bottom of the box with the addition of the batch code. The batch Batch code is 22X41YU. The bottle is a dark smoked glass looking flacon. The front has an almost bronzed metallic nameplate with the Ralph Lauren logo that says Ralph's Club. And then in white lettering on the bottom of the bottle, it says Elixir. The atomizer features a flip up lid just like all of the Ralph's Club. And it is a dark metallic, almost lacquered looking metallic. And the pump button at the top has RL for Ralph Lauren on the top of it. So that's a nice addition. And it is a bit of a smaller bottle being 75 mil, but it looks exactly like the original and subsequent flanker. Not a ton one can say that's very different from the previous flacon or bottles. I, I love this look. It kind of reminds me of a kind of a turn of the century flask or something similar to that in that you can flip up the lid and that actually protects the, the atomizer. On the top of the pump, it has RL, which is a nice addition. The bottle feels like it's a bit darker. The nameplate looks like it's a bit darker than previous iterations, and that's a nod towards the bit heavier concentration. Overall, big fat A on the presentation. I really like it. Fits in the pocket of a jacket or a shirt, so you could actually be more mobile with this version than the bigger bottle than before. So that is a bonus as well. So now that we've quickly looked at the presentation, we know what it's like, not dramatically different from the previous releases. Let's talk about the notes. What are the notes that make up Ralph's Club Elixir? Ralph's Club Elixir features top notes of cardamom, grapefruit, and green mandarin orange, with heart notes of provincial lavender, sage, forest butter, and geranium, resting on a base of fir balsam absolute, leather, frankincense, and patchouli. So I'm going to set the bottle down for a second as we talk about the formula. Not being cryptic about the notes, Ralph Lauren has, has released all of the notes pretty much that are in the fragrance. Gives you an idea of what you have to look forward to. So unsurprisingly, an unlike Sauvage Elixir, which carries the name Sauvage, but is dramatically different in terms of how it smells from any kind of Sauvage fragrance, Ralph's Club Elixir is actually a true elixir. So they're taking the Parfum Edition, they're creating a darker, heavier version of that in the elixir. Basically, you can, you can tell by the notes that are in the fragrance, and you can tell by the smell as well. So we've looked at the notes, we know what's in it. Let's talk about the aroma. You can really get a lot out of the, the open of this fragrance. Now the open has put some people off if, if you go out there and 
read forums and things like that, some people say, this doesn't smell at all like the original. It may not at first. At first, I think it's the most different from the original in the open. But once the open starts drying down a bit, it goes back to grassroots. You get back to that original Rouse Club formula. First of all, there's a lovely balance and harmony to the aroma that's a bit hard to describe, but I would have to say that it is definitely overtly masculine. So it's definitely not an, an elixir that I would say is kind of unisex in any way definitely masculine. The open is bright and sweet with a bit of citrus. There's some camphoraceous kind of overtones. There's also immediately you smell lavender, uh, which is really a combination of lavender and sage. You get this light fruity overtone with a very strong sense of lavender and sage. It's also a bit minty because of that with some woody and balsamic overtones. Cardamom is also very much present in the open, being part of that whole camphor, lightly lemony, minty freshness that is coming to the foreground. But all of that starts to die back a little bit. Now, provincial lavender may be in the heart of the fragrance, but like most fragrances where a pure, great quality lavender is being used, you can smell it immediately. This also has a bit of iris in it. Now, the, the iris isn't really really detectable in the open. But if you sit with the fragrance for at least 10 to 15 minutes, that's when you can start picking up on the, the iris or the orris butter, if you want to call it that, or orris absolute. It's very much there, but it's not part of the overall body that's present in the fragrance. So some people might like that, some people might not like that. If you were laying odds or hoping that this was going to be an iris present fragrance, it is not. Iris is more of a background player in Ralph's Club Elixir, but later on as things begin to dry down more, it does come a bit more to the foreground, but it never does come up and, and kind of knock on your forehead and say, pay attention to me, I'm iris. It's more like Every now and then it'll say its name and you're like, oh, there it is. And it'll disappear in the crowd again. Overall, the open is very refreshing, invigorating and stimulating. And it's that kind of fragrance. There's an energy to Rouse Club Elixir that is a very appropriate, but it is so far the most well refined and mature version of Rouse Club to date. So just like a lot of parfums or elixir versions of a popular fragrance, this is the most well-rounded and well done and well blended. But if you felt like the original was just another fragrance cologne out there for the youthful masses, you'll appreciate that the Elixir version is a lot more mature. Unsurprisingly, on skin, Ralph's Club Elixir unfolds the layer upon layer of finely crafted and finely tuned fragrance. This is a very billowing, voluminous, kind of fragrance or whatever other adjective that I can use to say that it really does fill the space that it's in. Some people have said in, in forums, and I always go to forums just to hear people's opinions because it's interesting, right? You're here to hear my opinion. I like to hear your opinion too. And that's the only way that I can get it other than in the comments. And that's why I recommend commenting. A few have said that this is a skin scent after two or three hours. That is not the case. I don't know what you're doing to your nose, but you might want to throw some coffee grinds at it every now and then to reset uh, your olfactive sense because this is an extremely powerful and very long lasting fragrance. I have worn this overnight and let me just tell you, it is there and present the next day. It's not something that's just barely there and you can barely tell. You can immediately tell that it's on the skin. Has it dialed back and pulled back quite a bit? Yes but it's still there. So as an elixir, while it might not be the atomic nuclear bomb that Sauvage Elixir is, it still very much feels like the body of an elixir in terms of the aroma, the volume, and the density. So we've looked at the presentation and talked about it. We've talked about the notes. We've talked about how the fragrance smells. We've talked a little bit about the sillage, the performance, uh, at least as much as I can in an impression, first impressions video. But I can guarantee you this is going to be a, one of those eight hour plus fragrances. There's no problem for an elixir in terms of that, you know, longevity department because of the heavier concentration of oils. Steven from Red Lessons, I happened to see his thumbnail. It was something like best of 2023. And I have to respectfully agree. You thought I was going to say disagree, didn't you? I very much agree with that. This is one of the best new releases of 2023. I actually thought that of the Parfum edition. So definitely feel that same way about the Elixir. One of the best designer new releases out there. Now I would like to start kind of a Studio Sense tradition um, as it were 
but there is a, and I don't have one with me, but I have three mil empty three mil vials for samples. So we're gonna do a contest so that I can give two sample vials of Ralph's Club Elixir away. And that's the three mil sample size. That may not seem like a lot, but it's definitely enough for you to try it out and figure out whether you like it or not, whether you want more or not. Uh, three mil is, is plenty, trust me, especially of an elixir like this. If you're interested in having a three mil vial of Ralph's Club elixir, all you got to do is comment on this video. It can be anything. You don't have to talk about, you know, Ralph's Club elixir. It can be whatever you want to say. Just say something in the comments. Of course, I would appreciate it if it's a comment about this video, or what your thoughts are on fragrance or this fragrance if you own it but please do me a solid and make sure that you are subbed to studio sense because if you aren't one of my subscribers that kicks you out of eligibility to win one of the two of the three mil vials that i'll be giving away so you have a really good chance so make sure to comment on this video and i'll let you know in a few days who has won both of the vials so that's a great way of getting free fragrance to try out a new release to see if you're going to like it see if you want to spend your hard-earned money on it or not um, but definitely check this one out i think it's going to be a real winner given time when people experience it there is a relaxed balance to the fragrance that's not exclusively refined in other words at the zenith of its aromatic impact it's not wholly casual nor is it wholly refined so in other words you can you can wear this casually you can also wear it in a suit and tie in fact this one is a bit more dressed up than it is casual but no it's it's a bit more refined and, and a bit more mature and goes better i think with a suit and tie than without if that makes sense so final sentence if you're one of those that appreciated the previous two releases of ralph's club the original and ralph's club parfum this is going to be a must-have for you. Ralph's Club Elixir is going to be a must-have in your cologne rotation, for sure, because it's the best of the line, thus far, anyway. Well, that's it for my first impressions of Ralph's Club Elixir, and I can't wait to do a best of new release video of 2023, because this is definitely going to be in my list. This is definitely going to make the list, so look forward to that, and I'll give you some additional thoughts as I expand my experience of the fragrance. Thanks so much for tuning in today. As always, thank you so much for your continued support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video review.